Oh, hey everybody. I was gonna say, I got a uh, little Baofeng uh, BF F8 HP little radio here and whatnot. Uh, and I was gonna say, one of the challenges I come into is trying to figure out how in the world do you program this darn thing, all right? Now, whenever you uh, uh, go out there on YouTube, the thing of it is is that you don't really find too many videos that says how you do it. They say how to program it, but I'm here to tell you, after watching a whole mess of these darn videos, I finally found one that's like 30 minutes long to figure out how to program one of these darn things. Well, guess what? There ain't hardly nothing to it. I'm going to show you right fast how you do it. So the thing of it is, is that whenever you get in here, there's two different modes, right? You got channel mode and frequency mode. Now, the thing of it is here, let me turn this up here, right? Whenever you go back and forth, right, you're going to be pressing this little red button. Frequency mode means that you can pop them uh, frequencies on in there, right? By the numbers, and you can listen to what's going on. Now, whenever you're going into... Uh, Channel mode, right? That's going to be where you're able to do some scanning and whatnot for the frequencies that you have saved. So let's go in here and let me show you how you do it. So so if you have the frequency in mind, you're going to make sure after you flip this here radio on, okay? Frequency mode. Go over to frequency mode. That way that you can make sure that you can input your numbers. So I'm going to go ahead and put one in here real fast. One. Four. Six. Nine. Four. Zero. All right, so, of course, you can hear a little talking on it here and whatnot. All right, so the thing of it is, you gotta, you can't save one until they quit talking. So, but you go to your menu, and you're going to hit 27. All right, then here you are. So, what you need to do now is hit menu to confirm. Now, you need to find a channel that you want to use. So, I'm going to go up here to number 17. And then you hit menu again to confirm it. Yeah, it says it's receiving the memory. So guess what? It's on in there. So you can hit the exit button. Takes you on back. Now, whenever you go into the scan mode, right, which is going back into channel mode, channel mode right, it'll be up in there. So if I go on up here to, nine, one, I don't know, it's like channel, one, I think 16, one, 18, whichever one, one I just said right one, there. Six, one, uh, it, it's number 17. There it is. All right, so you can see it. Now check this out. If you hold um, on the radio here, this little scan button right here where the asterisk is, you hold that down. Guess what's going to happen? Scanning beacon. Oh, it's scanning. We are live, buddy. It's going on now. Now it's just going to be cruising the radio waves, and that's how you got. That's all you got to do, right? You'll just be putting those frequencies in there. I got a whole mess of mine in, and either which case, you'll be able to scan going back and forth, and it's in there. All right. In which case, that's how you program this thing. It's super duper easier after you figure it out. Key thing of it is, is that you you got to figure it out. But anyhow, that's all I wanted to show you. Have you good now?